Hi, <clears throat> hi. This is Sifu Fio, Golden Flower, and I'm back today discussing and working with the Longyo PY05, which is this model, and the PY02. I'm using both. I think you should buy both. So anyway, the reason I'm, you know, I'd like to layer the colors. And so now that the tool. It's heated. I just push it a little to get it started, and as you can see, the red ink starts to come out. I like to do really thin lines with this red. I've got a reason for that. But if you notice, I'm building things up, and I'm going to mix it in media with it. So I'll show you also what I have in mind. This is a book I'm working on. It's called Journeys of a Golden Flower. And I'm going to illustrate it using some of this pop-up concept. I, th I believe pop-up books were created in China for the emperor for his amusement. And, um, now we all have them. And now you can make your own. So this one is yellow. Okay. So since I had this one a little more heater ready than this guy, it's flowing right out. I've noticed that the tighter you hold it, if you want to use it on paper, like I want to use it, the better it'll stick. If you go over it too quickly, it's not going to stick. And I like a lot of the, I, I got all the colors, and I'm probably going to put all the colors into this one. This is just the beginning, what I like to call the base. I'll paint it too. <laughs> I'm not that good yet. Paint, paint with both hands backwards. Leonardo da Vinci could do that. It might turn into who knows. I don't know, but that's what happens when you use your imagination. You have fun. You're not relying on somebody else to give you an imagination because you've got your own. Right? So I'm going to stop there. I just wanted to make a little little joke. You know, I love monkeys, people that know me. I love monkeys very much. And, um, I love the story of the Monkey King and Buddha. First of all, let me back up a little. I'll get this story five, less than five minutes. It's my grandmother. Her name was Carmelo Francino. She married my grandfather. She changed her name to Millie because Americans didn't like the way Italians' names sounded. She was born in 1909. So this is who raised me. So I've still got uh, ethics from the 19th, late 19th, early 20th century. With that said... She raised me from in her middle age, and you know how grandmothers just let the grandkids get away with everything? Well, that's exactly what happened. And I was like Sun Wukong wreaking havoc. I was like a little monkey. <laughs> they had to have a harness for me when I was a child. It's fun to do this. So, 
uh, Lu Yong, my uh, sales manager, or the salesman there, very, very nice woman. Her name is Jane Lee. So I think the second or third email I sent back, I signed my name, Sun Wukong. Okay, Sun Wukong is a legend, and they've made him into children's books, and um, they've made several, three movies that I know of. But he's a legendary. Um, everybody in China knows who Sun Wukong is. Just like everybody in America, and probably China too, and Europe, knows who Bugs Bunny is. So what I did was basically make her laugh by telling her my name was Sun Wukong. And I acted serious. I'm good at that. And <laughs> people get frustrated, like, are you telling me a story? Are you telling me a story? Well, sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Gotta keep them guessing. But anyway, she, she really had a good laugh about that when I confessed to, um, I really didn't believe I was Sun Wukong that I had just been trained by him in the Jade Heaven because I had been found worthy. Uh, that, that made her go, I didn't say that to her, I'm saying it to you. Um, yeah, Sun Wukong is my Sifu. Hmm. Okay. That's just a little humor for Friday. And I wish every one of my friends all around the world, I have friends all over the world, in Africa, in Europe, all over America, and Canada, and South America, in Mexico, in Central America, I have friends in China, Japan, the Okinawas, I have friends in India, I have friends throughout the Middle East, oh, I'm sorry, I have friends in um, Jerusalem and Syria, um, I'm friends with everybody. I, I don't know why everybody can't get along like, like we do, but um, everybody's having such difficulties, it's so easy to be nice, it's just so... It takes more work to be um, a mean person. So anyway, that's my assessment. I hope it doesn't sound too judgmental, but it's pretty self-evident. So I'd like to say hello to everybody, and hello to my two BFFs in Taiwan. I will not mention their names because they are top secret agents. Oops, I just compromised her. Okay, I didn't say their name. So anyway, have a good Friday. Sorry, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. I'm going to continue working in my student studio. And here's my, my strange face for you to see. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a nice day. Sun Wukong, I'm coming, I'm coming. He demands constant training.